Welcome to our chief meteorologist tracking more showers lingering, hanging out, loitering over the next few days. What about storms? Any power behind these systems that could present some problems for all of us? You know, we're going to go back to a low risk for a couple of uh, severe storms possible tomorrow and also into Wednesday, but it's not going to be widespread, not a big time severe weather threat. In fact, let me show you what we're watching right now. Dry weather conditions. This time last night, I was here with Nicole Hartford. We were tracking some of the storms moving through into the late night hours and overnight hours. All of that has pushed well down to the south. We've got a couple of stronger storms in southwest Georgia. Georgia. For now, those will stay to the south thanks to this front that has moved down into really past central Georgia into south Georgia. On the north side of this, we have the dry air that's in place. The south of that, that's where we have the moisture and that storm risk and also the warmer air too. And for tonight, the storm risk well down to the south of us. But let me show you what's going to happen tomorrow. That front is actually going to stall out in south Georgia and then start moving back to the north. And as it does, it's going to start spreading a little more moisture our way and also the low risk for some isolated storms in Atlanta tomorrow. We're in that level one of five risk for maybe just an isolated storm to develop. I really think the higher chance for some stronger storms is going to be more to the south of us and down into central Georgia. Pretty much the same story on Wednesday with the storm risk being on the low end, but actually Wednesday the rain risk or the chance for showers is going to be a little bit higher now out there right now. Dry air in place. Dew points are in the low 60s. Right now, our temperature is at 70. We think we're going to see those temperatures by tomorrow morning moving down closer to the dew points, which will be in the low 60s. So for June, that's really kind of a refreshing start to the day with temperatures in the lower 60s. And then we only get up to 80 in the afternoon. Today was 81, tomorrow about 80. That's trending about 7 degrees below the average. We're going to go with the 7 on the wasometer on our scale from 1 to 11. And again, that risk for some isolated showers. In the morning, it's dry. Late morning into after afternoon. Again, not a widespread coverage of rain. We're just talking about a few scattered showers. Hours. Then on Wednesday, more moisture spreads in. We'll see the rain chances going up on Wednesday. And again, that low risk that a couple of those could turn strong. Lower 80s for highs. We warm up to 85 Thursday with the rain chance going down to 30%. Friday looks like the best day of the week. A 10 on the wasometer, partly cloudy, but warming back to 87, which is where we should be for this time of year. Highs hold in the upper 80s Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. But the rain chances back up to about 30 to 40%.